Okay guys, welcome back to the channel of Extra Place here, and today we're here to do another tutorial, actually an updated tutorial of Adernos and how to create a server. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's continue. So first, you want to go to adernos.com or visit the link in the description and press play. Now, if you haven't signed up like I have, you have to just do simple things like type in your email, username, password, password, confirm you're a robot, and then check your email and confirm. Seems like a lot, but that's probably the hardest thing to do to create a server on Adonis. So I already logged in, so this is what you will see, this is what will pop up every time you go to Adonis. As you can see, it says offline and on the top right with my Elixir please uh, account. So this is what uh, the options looks like and a few things. So let's start with the home page. The home page will contain a bunch of Adonis ad stuff and pictures and things that you can do. And so let's continue. So on server, this is just like a little page for that's a server, and it's this has the start button to start the server. It has the IP. It has the players, um, like little thing and software. And as you can see, this uh, server thing link, it will, you know, it's a little link to tell or not tell to give it to your friends if they want to join your server. They can see if it's online or offline. And to change your IP, you just have to click on this little icon thing. And you just type in whatever you want. So I'm just gonna type in Alec that knows on me. And then on the second bar down below is what's going to be your server name. So this is what the people that are joining the server will see. So they will see Alex um tutorial server. I mean not through test server and then I wanna click save for both of them. So as you can see Alec is not um it's already used by someone, of course. So I have to use someone uh not someone, something else like Lex RP. And as you can see that is available. So here we have for slots, which is the max amount of people allowed. So I don't know how many people are actually allowed like for maximum. That you can put like two billion trillion, or I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna be that. So I'm gonna go to game rule, and that's all the things you can do like creative, survival, difficulty. You got peaceful because I would don't want any moms. You got easy, normal, and hard, just like a normal vanilla. And as you can see, it works. Uh, whitelist I'll get back to in a moment but for now I will just turn it off because I do not need it so online mode this will show um, if the server is online or offline so if you turn this off whenever people try to join it will be offline achievements if you want to show achievements or enable them you can turn them off or off, off or on I want them on I mean off uh, then you have fly you got monster nether you have NPC for villagers, animals, you have command blocks, and PvP. I'm gonna turn off PvP, I'm gonna turn off achievements, I'm gonna turn off fly, I mean I'm gonna leave it on actually. Turn off monster and turn off nether, and by turning off nether, there are, you cannot go to the nether, and if you want to, you'll have to restart your server. Now, spawn protection protects your spawn, 16 was what I have right now, I'm gonna add 17. Now, as you can see, it works. Uh, restore backup is basically when you want to restore your world if it gets messed up like someone TNT's your world you can save it and, well it will save and then you can restore it now if you want to reinstall this means that you'll restart your server and that's how you restart by going into options software you have these things for your server like vanilla you got snapshots 1.12.1 you have craft bucket what I use you have spigot you got MCPE which is for tablets and iPhones and all that stuff so I'm going to go to snapshots and that's what is there. You have Spigot Bucket which will have like the latest updates hopefully. And Spigot probably has more plugins than Bucket. Glowstone and that I do not know. But for mod packs as you can see down at the very bottom um, is actually really cool. Now for MCP I haven't messed around with it because it's kind of annoying trying to get it to work. So I'm not going to work on that. So uh, back to mods. Uh, if you want to install it it's as simple as clicking the mod. And that's it. It'll load. So now if we go over here, um, we can go to players. And this is probably important. Whitelist, like I coming back to now. Um, if you type your player's name and then press the plus button, what that will do is if you want a player to join, but you don't want another player to join. So let's say I want to join, but I don't want this other guy to join. You gotta put the player that you want to join, which is me, and you add it. 
Now in opt, this will give the player permission to type anything or do anything, so be careful who you opt, and you just type their name and press the plus. Now for files, this is where all your plugins, mods, and all that will show up, and uh, I think your world shows up here too, so that's where that'll go. So to get plugins, you just go to plugins on the side, and as you can see, those are all the plugins, and you can search it on the top if you want to look for a specific plugin. Um, it'll tell you a description of what it is, and you can download the latest version. I recommend the latest. I don't know about the lowest, because the lowest is probably not the best. And they update it a lot, usually. And I hope that this will download, which it probably will, most likely, for 1.8. So I don't plan on using it, but it'll work for now. Just to show you. So I'm going to download Chat Feelings. And now if I go to files, chat feelings is now here, 1.8 point jar. So if you want to download plugin, uh, make sure it matches your version. So if you're on 1.12.1, it's 1.12.1 uh, plugin. Now for worlds, you have download if you want to download your world for backups, if you want to give it to a friend or play it with single player. You have upload if you want to upload a world like from single player, you can move a world from there to the website. And um, you can also generate a world like I am just randomly. And the good thing about uploading is that you can play maps with friends for free in just 12 minutes. And there is no limit time. So as you can see, I just click generate. And then as you can see, it's spinning. It's loading, 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 loading. And then it will finally load. And now we have it uploaded. So now we have a new world. So now if you go to server. I mean not home you can click start and it will start and as you can see players maximum 2 I set to 2 you can set it to higher software 1.12.1 so make sure your version is 1.12.1 and now just click start accept the EULA and then if you want to you can turn notifications on or off and then if you want to stop you can press stop as you can see it says waiting queue and that basically tells you on the left side it says ca 12 minutes that's how long you need to wait for free just for a free server in just 12 minutes so yeah so now you just gotta wait it and then as you can see now it's starting so now we just have to wait for a load and now is a good time to start minecraft while you're waiting and tell your friends the IP, which you can copy, which mine was lixrp. I don't know, it's not me. It'll always be dot. I don't know, it's not me. You can't change it, sorry, but that's your luck for a free server. So now let's move on to Minecraft. So uh, as you can see, I type in the you know the um, thing, the IP right there, lixrp. I don't know, it's not me. And then I type it or copy paste into Minecraft, which is Control C. We didn't know. And as you can see, it's online. So now let's go on to the server. Okay, guys. So now we are in Minecraft 1.12.1. As you can see, it is an updated world. It is a new world, fresh and ready to begin journeys. So as you can see, we have about uh, 30 FPS, but that is because I have like a bunch of applications running in the background, which is slowing down it. Minecraft. But um, I do have Optifine not installed yet, and I have shaders and texture packs that aren't installed. So right now I have 30 FPS with a bunch of applications running in the background, which is really a lot. So I go um, and I need to go get Optifine. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video and hopefully it works for you. And if you need help, don't forget to like, come subscribe and comment down below because I will most likely answer your question or somebody else will quickly and fastly and easily. So that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.